Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to prove that the sequence of ratios of successive Fibonacci numbers approaches the golden ratio denoted by Greek letter phi, which is square root of 5 plus 1 divided by 2. So let r sub n be equal to f sub n divided by f sub n minus 1, which are two Fibonacci numbers and prove that limit as n goes to infinity, this ratio is approaching to phi. So we are given two successive Fibonacci numbers, f sub n divided by f sub n minus 1, and limit as n goes to infinity, this ratio is approaching to phi. So let this limit be equal to lambda, Greek letter L, and Using the properties of limit, we can actually use another two successive numbers, which are limit as n goes to infinity, f sub n plus 1, divided by the previous one is f sub n. And this is our limit. Let's recall that each Fibonacci number is given by the sum of two previous numbers. So the one before this, f sub n, and the one before this is f sub n minus 1. So we can substitute f sub n plus 1 with f sub n plus f sub n minus 1. So our limit will be equal to f sub n plus f sub n minus 1 divided by f sub n. Now we can separate this fraction because we have a common denominator. So our limit as n goes to infinity, f sub n divided by f sub n plus f sub n minus 1 divided by f sub n. So we obtain f sub n divided by f sub n is 1 and here this expression limit as n goes to infinity, f sub n minus 1 divided by f n is 1 over lambda. Because we said that limit as n goes to infinity, f sub n divided by f sub n minus 1 is lambda. So if you flip this fraction, then you need to write lambda 1 over lambda. It is like a over b if 5 is equal to a over b, then 1 over 5 will be equal to b over a. Now we can multiply all terms by l, so we obtain lambda squared equals to lambda plus 1, and if you subtract l plus 1 on both sides, you obtain lambda squared minus l minus 1. Now you have quadratic equation. So we can solve the value of L by using the quadratic formula. Let's recall, it's negative B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC all over divided by 2 times A. Our A term here is the coefficient of X squared term, which is 1. Our B term is negative 1, that's the coefficient of middle term and our constant c is negative 1. Let's plug in. So we have negative negative 1 plus or minus square root of b squared which is negative 1 squared minus 4 times a term times c term all over 2 times a term. We have 1 plus or minus this is going to be square root of 5 divided by 2. So this is the value of our L, which is our limit. And let's recall, square root of 5 plus 1 divided by 2 is the golden ratio of phi. Let's check this with the table as well. We can write Excel formula for Fibonacci numbers. We know that the first Fibonacci number is 1 and second Fibonacci number is 1. So first two Fibonacci numbers are 1, 1, and the next Fibonacci number is always given by the sum of two Fibonacci numbers. So our Excel formula will be 
equal to first term plus second term. And if we extend this, we obtain next Fibonacci numbers. Now, the ratio. The ratio of Fibonacci numbers will be, let's write a formula, second term divided by just the previous term. And if we extend this, as you can see, as you go further, you obtain the golden ratio, 1.618033. If you actually continue further, you can see that this number is converging to golden ratio fee. Thank you for watching.